Hello everyone and welcome back to another unboxing video of Battlegrounds Game Center. I'm Patrick and today we're going to be taking a look at Shogun no Katana. This is a new worker placement style game where you and a bunch of other players are competing to build the best katanas for the Daimo. Um, has a lot of cool components. Uh, love the theming. I'm very, very big into Japanese style themed games. So this one was a really cool one to look at. It was on Kickstarter, I believe, last year. Um, but we got it in store. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at what comes inside. All right. Top off and already a lot of cardboard. Okay. So this is a very thick punch board. Wow. Very cool. And it has... Um, spaces here to look uh, to put cubes out or for like resources and stuff so those are cool very nice can punch out nice it's thick got a really nice backing just a few of them here let's see we got some more here so it looks like there's some to build a katana right there very cool all right and then we got the board itself so I'll move that for a second. Very nice, beautifully designed board. I love me a worker placement, so um, this is speaking to me right now. <laughs> Very good. Very nice artwork and title on the back. It's always nice to see uh, artwork on the back of the boards instead of just straight black. Very cool. That's the board. Okay, and then we have a few different book books here. So it looks, looks like the rule book itself, pretty big. All the different components that comes in the game. Uh, let's see here, your setup. Playing the game, so a lot of nice visually, uh, vis nice visual exam examples and um, artwork here. So, you know, different player boards for how you move your boards with your, so delivering swords. Uh, all right. Then there is a one player mode as well. So for all you solo players like me, uh, always good to see. And then a story mode. So there's a few different modes of play. Um, I don't know how a story mode will work with this, but that's cool. It's nice to see. And then you have all your different, uh, your quick actions on the back here in summary. Very nice. And then, ooh, I like this. Uh, it's a historical uh, handbook. So it tells you about the Shogun no Gatana is set between 1185 and 1868. So quite some time. <laughs> uh, yeah, during the Shogun of Takawaga, uh, Takagawa, sorry. Um, Commodore Matthew Perry. Okay, so Edo period. Very cool. Actually, if, if you're into video games, Rise of the Ronin is all about that uh, period in Japan uh, during 1868. So if you like video games and you like samurai, uh, let's see here. Very cool. And it shows you all the honor cards on the back. And then more punch outs. Nice thick cardboard. Um, this looks like this is probably money. So we're not gonna punch out everything. Just to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. Some more money. Some flags, very cool. And then the player boards. So this is your workshop. So this is where you're going to be putting those tiles and I believe your miniatures as well. And just the back artwork. I believe these are all the same. Then we got some smaller boards here. Very cool. They're double sided. Uh, we have a nice little insert, um, some nice acrylic cubes and some regular cubes probably like a quality thing maybe uh all the extra baggies you could want we got cards so a few different cards all right so just looks like resource cards um 
so you can kind of see what those look like. And or like items or something like that. So very cool. So we'll put those back there. And we got some more cards here. Looks like there's a QR code to go to the website, possibly. Um, let's see some of their other games. And then we've got more of these here. So it goes with them. Some of these. Not sure what any, all of this is. I have not played it. Um, I remember seeing it on Kickstarter, and that's about it. So some more cards here. Nice. Very cool. That's a few different things on the back, so nice. Nice cards. All right, but there are some pretty cool stuff in this, uh, like miniatures. So we'll pull these out. I think they're all pretty much the same, so we'll just take a look at one of these baggies here. Some nice minis. So, that guy sitting. Very cool. We've got a, work, a workman, blacksmith there. And there's a geisha. Maybe. A few different sculpts. That's cool. Very cool. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's a lot of different sculpts of these. That's nice. Very cool. Looks like a man of much importance, a lord maybe. So a few different ones. Yeah, there's a lot of different sculpts. I think they're all pretty much different. You don't really see that often in worker placement. So that's kind of cool. Let's see. So this game isn't about like fighting samurai or anything like that. It's about the people that make their swords and weapons and armor and all that. So it's kind of a cool different take on this era um, in a game form. So, and then looks like the last one. So yeah, they were all different sculpts. That is really cool. And I believe it's pretty much the same for every one of them, all just different colors. Yep, so you got blue, yellow, red, and I like the green. So there's four colors, four players. Um, but yeah, that is everything that comes in Shogun no Katana. So a worker placement game where you're building katana, armor, pieces, um, working together, or I believe it's competitive. And then you also have a solo mode, a story mode. So yeah, so if you guys are interested in this and um, you want to pick it up today, you can always head into the store. You can go to our web store. We'll have it listed there. Um, I'll have all the information listed below. But if you like this video and you would like to see more like it, go ahead and like and subscribe at the bottom of the screen. Uh, we really appreciate it. We've been slowly growing, getting more subscribers, more views, and uh, it's awesome to see. Uh, we have a lot of co more cool content coming out. Um, so if you want to keep up to date, make sure to subscribe. But thank you again. I'm Patrick at Battlegrounds Game Center. Until next time.